Statistics show breast cancer is the most common cancer among women worldwide, and there's more awareness that men can get breast cancer too. Now experts are learning more about the risk among transgender women. Joining us is breast surgeon Dr. Valerie Brutus with Hartford Healthcare Breast Health Center at St. Vincent's Medical Center. Dr. Brutus, thanks for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Great to have you. So you've treated transgender patients for breast cancer. Is their risk similar to the general population? Um, the, there's different factors that affect one's breast cancer risk. Um, definitely the most important is a gender assigned of birth. So if a, if a gender assigned of birth is female, as you mentioned, we know that breast cancer is the most common non-skin cancer that goes in this population affecting one out of eight throughout their lifetime. And it's the most common cancer diagnosis not only in the United States, but also worldwide. Um, if the sex outside of birth is male, then this is rare. You know, so the incidence and, and, and men sex outside of birth as men is about one out of 800. There are also other risk factors that comes into play from age, the older you, you are, the higher your chance. And it's one's own medical history. So if someone has had biopsy of the breast that had showed a normal or precancerous cell, there'll be an increased breast. Or if one had had radiation to this chest wall, especially at the younger age, that also would help them at higher risk. And we also consider risk of ventilation, pregnancy history, um, family history, and also for those seeking hormone, how long you've been taking hormones about as well. So okay. all these factors are considered. All right, doctor, tell us what concerns are your patients sharing with you? I think all patients are always concerned about the impact of the treatment will have on their overall well-being, um, especially when we're talking about in the patients getting chemotherapy, everybody is always concerned. In a transgender population, the concern that they all share for those who are on hormone is when this hormone has to be held, you know, for either a shorter or longer period of time, how this will affect them overall. And there also has been some concern about discrimination. We unfortunately know that um, patients who identify as a muskin, a gay, bisexual, transgender, or queer are less likely to present for cancer screening. So that's why we're doing the programs like that to just increase awareness. All right, doctor, quick last question. We're running out of time. What are the screening and treatment options recommended for transgender people? Um, the American College of Radiology and the Association of um, Breast Imaging recommends that anybody at the age of 40 consider to start the screening mammogram. If the sex assigned of birth is a female and who have not had a mastectomy and for transgender male patients taking hormones for more than five years. And we also recommend that everyone should be familiar with the way their breasts um, feel and look and to please reach out to a healthcare provider if there's any change or concern. All right, Dr. Valerie Brutus with Hartford Healthcare and St. Vincent's Medical Center. Thank you for the very latest on this important topic. We appreciate your time. Thank you.